Welcome to Survive to Thrive Daily with Dr. Todd. I am Dr. Todd Wendell, husband, father, chiropractor, entrepreneur, and health architect, here to bring you daily tips and tricks to improve your life and literally help you move from just surviving to thriving. Let's get started. Today, we're covering actually sleep. We're going to talk about sleep. One of the best ways to move from survival uh, to thriving is get a good night's rest. <clears throat> and uh, too often, uh, people will underestimate the benefits of sleep. Um, you know, when you get a good, good night's rest, and it's been all over the place, but uh, most studies are settling down on that seven to nine hours, about eight hours of sleep is uh, consistently what you need. Um, uh, and uh, that uh, does a variety of things for the body. <clears throat> if you consider the damage that we do to a body on a daily basis, um, it can be um, detrimental and your body needs a chance to repair. And so repair happens in muscle tissue, it happens in your brain, your brain reorganizes all the thoughts, all the processes that had to go through the situations that it went through through the day, and then starts to reorganize and get refreshed. And literally it shows that uh, your short-term memory, long-term memory can improve with a good night's rest. Uh, obviously muscle, muscle tissue needs to relax because if you're working uh, on it on a daily basis, it needs a chance to relax. So actually putting yourself in that state of sleep will allow that to happen allow for the repair of torn muscle tissue and other tissues as well. And so literally your immune system goes to work when you go to sleep. Now consider if you're not having a good night's sleep, what could potentially happen? That means that your body doesn't get a chance to repair. It doesn't get a chance to organize. It doesn't get a chance to um, restructure in different ways and does not get a chance to relax. Waking up almost in a deficit on a daily basis, trying to get going, but not having enough fuel and not having enough organization in your brain to be able to like, ah, oh, I got this, you know, you wake up with this fog and trying to get some um, things going, trying to remember uh, well, not only what happened yesterday, some of the short term stuff, but some longer term people talk about, hey, I just got this fog. So have you considered today as we're talking about sleep, one of the one of the keystones in my life was actually to ask what would be the best night's sleep? How could I actually anchor and get a, the best night's sleep? What would that look like? What, what, what would a pillow look like? What would a mattress look like? And what things could I add in to allow this to have one of the best processes, best night's sleep consistently? And so I'm gonna walk you through some things to think about. If you have not slept well um, in the past, this is these are things that you wanna implement immediately and see if you can walk yourself through that process uh, of getting a good night's sleep or moving in the direction of just gaining that sleep. Now, there's a difference between sleep and deep sleep. That restlessness all night long, just kind of that superficial waking up, waking up, waking up, going back to sleep, not really ever feeling rested versus a deep, deep sleep. And we call it a REM sleep where there's rapid eye movement. You know, basically, once you hit that mark, um, because you have some wicked dreams, <laughs> it's usually one of those like, oh my gosh. I don't even tell you what happened last night. And you wake up almost like you just got snapped out of reality. And so we know that's a good night's sleep. Other things um, that can really help you get a, a good night's sleep, um, and this is why it's so tough during the, um, during the uh, winter hours, is that we don't get enough sunlight. Vitamin D basically helps uh, uh, the release of melatonin in a different way. Um, throughout the body to help the body go into that. Okay, there's natural rhythms, natural cycles that the body uh, goes through and sunlight helps kind of perpetuate that. So light and dark, everything like that. Of course, your diet is going to be a huge part of this. Um, I've told patients quite often that uh, if you're having some troubles uh, um, sleeping, actually um, some spicier foods, um, things like turmeric or um, uh, some of the Mexican foods that have some jalapeno and, and other spices and things like that can really make a difference. Again, uh, how your body actually releases um, your, um, your necessary sleep hormones as well. Um, and then one of the best things, and this is for you and kids, is just keeping a regular schedule. It's just, whether it's nine o'clock, it's 10 o'clock, it's midnight, everything like that can help as well. And then of course, um, our routines, and we've been talking about this quite a bit, is getting um, uh, active throughout the day. And so exercises help 
helps kind of wear the body out in a good way to be able to help you get a deeper night's sleep as well, okay? The other um, couple things to think about um, as we're, it kind of falls under this nutritional uh, aspect of stuff is alcohol and caffeine. So obviously most people use um, alcohol, some version of it to fall asleep. You like kind of just, oh, I need to relax throughout the day and they use caffeine to wake up. These are, these are kind of abnormal adaptogens, meaning that the body, um, yeah, it's kind of more stimulants and depressants to be able to allow the body to get into the state. And I'll talk to you about a couple of adaptogens that we use in the office. Um, but these are things that you need and co to consider um, uh, if you are gonna partake, that you do them at specific times. Like having a cup of coffee at nine o'clock at night is obviously gonna um, elevate and help um, uh, keep you awake, which is not what you want. And then alcohol, um, actually has been shown to reduce your REM sleep. So the deeper sleep, a lot of times people feel sleepy after alcohol. It doesn't mean that it helps with sleep. It just means that you are actually keeping your body from going into a deeper sleep. So it is a depressant, but it's not at that sleep aid that you're, you're possibly thinking about. And then we go into bedroom structure, okay? Um, bedroom structure um, was one of the things that I looked at um, and I said, what, what would be a good temperature? What would be a good mattress? What would be a good pillow? And then what do we, what do we look like at, at like falling asleep? Would it be good music, some relaxing uh, music, maybe some, you know, um, sounds of the outdoor. I love, and this is where you have to go into is what you like, but I love the sound of like aspens, like, you know, the leaves quaking. Um, that, that'll put me to sleep like that, unless I'm hunting. That's true. If I'm hunting, that kind of just gets me fired up. <laughs> but you might find some soothing sounds that you enjoy. Television isn't one of them. You know, putting on like Terminator 2, which is, uh, I'm old now because that was an action movie. Last time I watched uh, um, some serious TV, Terminator 2. That's probably a long time ago. <laughs> but anyways, um, doing an action flick right before you go to bed, something that would rile you up doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So um, uh, choosing your shows wisely or choosing a show, if you're going to watch TV, that has a timer, to set a timer and it's gone. So you can actually get to sleep, stay asleep. You don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and have you know somebody screaming at you on the television, something like that. That's not a good pattern to get into. Um, but uh, um, so you look at your bedroom, structure is it quiet okay can you put yourself in a in a position that um, things would be uh, quieter by turning off televisions making sure there's no buzzing loud noises things like that makes some sense and then we go into mattresses mattresses are a kick I teach uh, patients all the time um, that you want to get the biggest bang for your buck you spend half your life sleeping hopefully half your life sleeping and so um, when it comes to a mattress you want to invest that time uh, that inner I'm sorry that money into that so you can gain the time and energy back but no doubt putting some money into a mattress will make some sense some of the hot ones that we're seeing right now. Um, Tempur-Pedic, of course, is good, but runs hot. Sleep numbers are there and available. People like those because they can change change that. Um, and then there's some knockoff brands that have really done, done well, um, like Dream Cloud and uh, Casper. Uh, there's another one uh, out there right now. Um, Purple is another big one. And those, those are kind of the knockoff um, uh, memory foam, uh, which where Tempur-Pedic kind of lost its patent. We had a lot of these direct con to consumers. So you're saving a lot of money because they vacuum wrap these things or vacuum shrink them and bundle them up. UPS guy delivers them. Sure. He loves that. It's good for chiropractic care. But anyways, he goes, they deliver it and um, you basically just unshrink wrap it on your box spring and you have voila a new mattress so check them out do your own research on that and talk to everybody but we're seeing some good results with purple right now and then of course Tempur-Pedic has been there but um, all of these tend to run hot no matter what I mean it's just when you put in there so I moved into and found a company called Chili Pad and Chili Pad is basically a mattress overlay that has circulation throughout it. It just circulates water out of a pump and it's got these two um, big hoses. You can do a split. We have a split king. So what I, we have two different pumps. And um, basically we'll take the temperature of uh, the mattress meaning these coils that, and you can't even feel them. It's not, not a big deal at all, um, not even under the sheet, but these coils will basically heat up 
to as much as 110 or cool down uh, to 56. They say about 64 to 68 degrees is the prime temperature. But during the summertime, man, I'll crank that thing down. It feels so good to be at that like 56 degrees. It's just if you're running hot, um, uh, some of our older women that may be having uh, hot flashes, that's a great way to go as well. Um, that is uh, that is a must-have. I don't care what mattress you get. If you could put that into the budget, uh, uh, Split King, the max that you could get is like 800 900 bucks. I think it's about 800 bucks. They run a, a chronic discount. So check out a sleeping pad, uh, a chili pad, excuse me, uh, as well. And then also making sure um, that your uh, structure is good. Some of you like to sleep with pillows, um, uh, ideally a good cervical pillow that supports um, your head and neck so you're not falling, uh, literally having hands um, and arms falling asleep is really important as well. So I'm giving you this crash course on sleep, but um, to revisit this, your sleep is one of the most important things that you have. It literally does set you up for success in the day or not. And finding, I think at the end of the day, a really good pattern that you could walk yourself into, uh, that you're consistently going to bed, consistently waking up at a certain time, and you watch for that eight hour, seven to eight hour mark, okay? Now, I know um, in our community that goes 24 seven, um, some of you may be listening to this and saying, man, I don't, I, I mean, I work 14, 16 hours a day. I come home, I have enough time to eat and fall asleep, and I'm still only getting about five, six hours at best to get up for the next day. Um, that's okay. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, but you gotta also consider one, your days off, there's times to actually get that back. And don't go run into Ambien. One of the, um, uh, I had heard that Ambien is one of the number one um, drugs prescribed in our area, but also for sleep and sleep aids. Um, there are some great uh, uh, herbal adaptogens out there that allow your glandular tissue to repair. So don't go run into medicine. Try some herbal adaptogens. We use one through um, Metagenics called Benisom. It absolutely is incredible. People, people love it. Um, it's not addictive because it's an herbal blend, uh, like Eastern herbs, compounded herbs, and. Um, and people, like I said, just uh, uh, love it because you wake up and without the fog, without the, oh, I need to take this every single night in order to sleep. So anyways, food for uh, thought anyways, as we're looking at, at uh, sleeping and um, consider it today as one of the best things that you could get. I mean, we talked about a while back a green drink as being one of the healthiest things. This is a second, close second in aspects. If you want to make a change, um, take back your bedroom, <laughs> take it back, make it consistent, do some things throughout the day to allow your body to sleep better, but also take back your bedroom, design it in such a way that you can just get that incredible night's sleep so you can be up and ready to go for the day and not just survive through your day. That's right. You see it, you can thrive. That's all I got for you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>